Must be football season. How's everybody doing? Outstanding. It was uh, a blast to be out here. Uh, uh, the people, the architects of this rule that says no pads on the first day of spring are probably really, really bright people because had there been pads today, I don't know we would have made it to the second day because uh, there was a lot of energy and a lot of people loving to be back out here, which is an encouraging sign. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm thrilled. Obviously, uh, lots of mistakes, lots of things that have got to get a lot better, but uh, just to be back out here coaching again is uh, what we love to do, and, and, and it's a blast when your players all love to be here. So uh, I look forward to uh, analyzing the tape, see uh, where we are, and try to get better tomorrow. And hopefully we'll see as many of you out here tomorrow. Who's the best thing you saw for? Just the energy, yeah, you know, just I mean the absolute anticipation, just for the clock as it counted down, just for stretching. Uh, it means that means a great deal of investment was put in in the, uh, the winter quarter because they're ready to, to show what they're uh, capable of, and uh, that's across the board. Lots of uh, young guys doing some fun things, but like I said, everybody going too fast and almost in a panic mode rather than that comfortable mode where you're making all the big plays. But certainly. Uh, as you look at guys like Taylor Embry and Nelson Rosario, and who have been now here, seem like old guys as they're beginning their all of second spring. <laughs> you know, uh, it's uh, it's fun to see these guys uh, look mature, look the part, and, and know that uh, what lies ahead for us. So, uh, and, and and true on the defensive side, you know, watching Raheem and Akeem run around like they've been there forever. That, that's fun. Is, is the approach any different this spring than last? Then you were coming off a of 4-8 season here, you're coming off Absolutely. We've got to have an urgency about us this spring. You know, we're, uh, we're more capable physically, uh, but we also have uh, higher expectations both internally and externally. So uh, we've got to, to keep the momentum of the program. Uh, from year one to year two, there was improvement. Now we've got to make sure that there's an equal amount of improvement as we go from year two to year three. Uh, which will be a tall order given the month of September and the schedule and so forth. So uh, there could be no time wasted, which is why I think guys were so excited and, and things got real physical even though we were in uh, shorts. So hopefully the guys who are a little bit nicked up can uh, be back tomorrow. I saw Joe Foyer get a little bit of a groin injury. Uh, Kai Maiava looked like he tweaked his shoulder a little bit, bumped it. Uh, hopefully it's just a bruise. We can pat it and he'll be ready to go again tomorrow. Uh, and what else did I see? Uh, Morrell had some cramps, so I don't think that'll be an issue. Coach, can you talk a little bit about Kevin Prince being your clear point number one quarterback? Well, you know, it, people say he's a sophomore and you still worry that he doesn't have a lot of experience, but he's had a full year of experience, and he spent a lot of time, uh, you know, looking at himself throughout the past year, realizing all the different things he could have done better. And, and now when you take your go in there, there's no wonder you know what it's going to be like. He knows what it's going to be like, and I think he's excited about uh, the chance to go out and, and, and be a year better. And you know, if today's in any indication, I think he's going to have a sensational year. He's really worked to get, make himself a, a physical presence, uh, and, and certainly he's well aware of what he can do. The uh, other guy, Richard Brijo, uh, you know, I think is also a gifted guy, and he needs to take that challenge to you know take the little experience that he garnered a year ago and make that be uh, beneficial for himself so that he can prove that he can really play at this level uh, which I know that he can so I'm excited to watch both those guys uh, it was fun to see Nick Christman back you know winging around a little bit I know it's it's been a long haul for him to get to this point that's a key you know uh, with the departure of our senior class, we lost some you know, cornerstone leaders. Reggie Carter, Logan Paulson, Terrence Austin, uh, Ultron Burner, those were the four captains. And, 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 and legitimately so, not just because they were guys who played in the games. Uh, they, were, they were leaders. And, and so the Raheems, the uh, Daytones, the Akeem Ayers, the uh, Kevin Princes, the Nelson Rosario, Taylor Embry, the, all the Corey Harkey, all those guys who've been in and around, even though they, this is only their third going on to their third season, they've got to step up and be leaders. But I think they're really excited about that challenge. And, and uh, so, 
and they're all certainly battle tested. So I, I think it'll it'll handle itself very well.